In today's video, we're overclocking the AMD Radeon RX 6500 XT graphics card all the way up to 2962 megahertz in five minutes or less using the overclocker toolset that's available in the AMD Adrenaline software package. I'll speed run you through the overclocking settings and provide some notes and tips along the way. Please note that this is for entertainment purposes only and most definitely not the whole picture. If you want to learn how to overclock this graphics card, please have a look at my longer scatterbencher video that's already up on this channel. All right, let's get started. Open the AMD software Adrenaline Edition driver software. This official software package includes the graphics card drivers and many valuable tools for fine tuning your gaming experience. Go to the performance tab. Here you will find a performance tuning toolkit that includes logging metrics and tuning knobs. Click on tuning and select manual tuning. Set GPU tuning to enabled. This allows us to fine tune the graphics card's GPU settings. Set advanced control to enabled. This presents the frequency and voltage sliders in terms of megahertz and voltage instead of percentages. Set min frequency to 2675 megahertz. This ensures the lowest frequency in a high performance workload will not drop below 2675 MHz. Setting the right minimum GPU frequency is essential for three reasons. One, a high minimum frequency ensures the frequency does not go too low during workloads, thus ensuring high performance. Two, a too high minimum frequency does not cause instability. However, it does induce performance throttling. Ensuring the minimum frequency is not too high is vital to achieving optimal performance. When tuning the voltage frequency curve, certain parts of the VF curve are no longer stable while other parts are. Setting the right minimum frequency ensures the selected point on the VF curve stays within the stable region. Set max frequency to 2975 MHz. Inexplicably, this is the maximum GPU frequency AMD allows us to set. Set GPU voltage to 1125 millivolt. This offsets the standard voltage frequency curve by a negative 75 millivolt. The voltage frequency curve describes the relationship between an operating frequency and the voltage required to run that frequency stably. The voltage frequency curve for the Radeon RX 6500 XT starts at around 600 megahertz with 0.75 volt and ends at 2975 megahertz with a voltage of 1.25 volt. That said, as per AMD rule, the actual GPU voltage cannot exceed 1.2 volt. So even though the maximum voltage of the VF curve is 1.25 volt, this voltage will never be set. Set VRAM tuning to enabled. This allows us to fine tune the graphics card's memory settings. Set memory timing to fast timing. This enables more aggressive memory timings than the standard configuration and may help improve performance. Set advanced control to enabled. Set max frequency to 2400. Inexplicably, this is the maximum memory frequency AMD allows us to set. Set power tuning to enabled. This allows us to increase the card's power budget. Set power limit to 15. This increases the maximum allowed power consumption from the default 80 watt to the new limit of 92 watt. Inexplicably, this is the maximum power limit AMD allows us to set. Then click apply changes to confirm the overclocked settings. To ensure everything is working as intended, we rerun some benchmarks and check the performance increase compared to the default settings. With our RX 6500 XT now running 3% higher GPU frequency and 7% higher memory frequency at 2962 and 2400 MHz respectively, we see the highest performance in all benchmarks. When running Furmark GPU stress test, the average GPU clock is 2687 MHz with 1.004 volts, and the GPU memory clock is 2384 MHz with 1.36 volts. The average GPU and GPU hotspot temperature is 60.7 degrees Celsius and 84.3 degrees Celsius. The average TGP power is 92.009 watts. When running the GPU-Z render test, the maximum GPU clock is 2949 MHz 
with 1.165 volts. And that's it. A big thanks to my Patreon supporters and see you next time.